Greetings, y'all. This is Testimony Tuesday, where we share testimonies to encourage people with things the Lord has done. And I want to tell y'all about an old testimony. When I first got saved, I had just got saved at the end of 2004, November 2004. And I just started a job the beginning of 2005. So, you know, I'm new. I'm new to the Lord. I'm fresh. I'm just learning. And, um, I started this job out of town. Every day on this job, I mean, it, it was just hectic. And I want to say this, that a lot of saints go through on their job. Yeah, a lot of the warfare that saints experience is from, is from their job. Because I heard a lot of testimonies where people were just going through on their job. And so on this job, I was working next to this, this guy. He was from the street. And, um... He found out I was saved. It was like, he was testing me every single day. You know, I would conversate with him when I first started. I was friendly to him. When I first started, I was friendly to him. And um, when he found out I was saved, it's like things went a whole nother way. And see, what I was doing, I was working on an assembly line. And he would pack the boxes. And I was the... uh material handler so my job was once he finished packing the boxes i was to take the boxes put them on the pallet and then drive it to the warehouse once i stacked the pallet drive it to the warehouse that was my job excuse me so things went fine when i i not i worked this job for about three bucks and then i was laid off but things worked fine for like I say like the first two weeks, then downhill after that. Every day this guy tested me. Cause when things took a turn, it's like this is what he started doing. He'll start letting my boxes fall on the floor. He'll start speeding up so my boxes could just go on the fall on the floor. Like, if break was over, if break was over, he'll run back to break, he'll run back to the area real quick so he could start piling up, piling up, piling up before I get there and have it all on the floor everywhere. And you know, I would, I would never say that. I'm from the streets myself. I was really holding my peace. I just fell in love with God. I was holding my peace. Let me tell y'all something. In order for me to go to work, because I, I knew this guy was trying me. I ain't no idiot now. I knew he was trying me. But in order for me to go to work every day, I had to listen to, um, what song I listened to? Every day I listened to, before work, every day for three months, I listened to Donald Lawrence, um, The Prayer of Jabez. Enlarge my territory. Every day, every morning, I had to, I had to listen to something before I go to work, in order to go to work. Because every day this dude tried me. And um, there was a couple of saints on that job. And I'd be down the way talking to them. All right, like, they got like a bell that kind of ring. The bell ring. All right, that lets you know break over. And now it's time for whatever next group to go to break. So when I'm on my way back headed, he's speeding up. He's speeding up to let my stuff drop on the floor. Now, this might seem small to some people, but... You know, I had just got saved, and here, here I am. I'm from the streets, from Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. I'm from the streets, and here I got this guy testing me. Testing me. Every day, testing me. For three months, testing me, testing me, testing me, testing me. I mean, he was cool at first. He was the, he was the coolest person at first for two weeks, and then... For that two weeks, he never let my stuff hit the floor. Never, never, never let it hit the floor. Then once he found out I was saved, it's like things, yeah. So on that job, what I did was, I never went into the break room. On that job, what I would do, I would just stay on the floor. I would take, I would take that time to read the Bible and get closer to God. I didn't, I didn't. Not that I was standoffish from the people, because I did talk to the saints there, and I talked to some people there that wasn't even saved. I conversated with them, but my break time was it was me and the Lord. And so, 
this guy was just continuing on, speeding up, speeding up, dropping my stuff on the floor. If if we come back from break, he let stuff fall on the floor, pile it up. If I went to the bathroom, he'd speed up. He'd speed up. But look, in that two weeks that he was cool, in that two weeks that he was cool, he never did none of that stuff. He never did none of that. So I took this and I took it and I took it. And at one point, I thought to just quit because I said, you know what? It's not worth it. I just fell in love with the Lord. I'm, I'm in a happy space. Nothing was robbing, nothing could rob my joy. And after a while, he started getting to me, y'all. I'm, I'm not going to lie. He started getting to me. So after about three months of going through this, because I would never say nothing. I would never acknowledge to him, like, I know what you're doing. I would never acknowledge none of that. Like, I, I see what you're doing. After three months, y'all, one morning, man, I listen to Donald Lawrence every morning before. I had to before I go to work. One morning, I didn't put Donald Lawrence on, y'all. I said to myself, I'm going to give him what he asking for. For real. I said, I said to myself, this before I even went to work, while I was still at home, I said, if he do anything to get today, I'm going to drag him through that plant. I made up my mind. I'm going to drag him through that plant. And I was in his city. And he from the streets. And he knew a lot of people. And I didn't even have a car. I was getting dropped off there. And I didn't, I didn't even care. I didn't care how I was going to get out of there. I was going to drag him through that plant. If he did anything that day, I made up in my mind. I got tired of it, y'all. Said I ain't playing with him no more. I ain't playing with him no more. I got tired of it. And, uh, and that's how the enemy do. He try to wear you down, wear you down. The enemy wanted me to lay hands on him. I was going to drag him, y'all. He would have had to call his little thug buddies. I ain't know how I was going to get out of there. But he was going to get dragged that day. I'm dead serious. So, went to work. And I was ready. I was looking for, I would look. When break was over, the bell rang. I was looking for him to run over there and start speeding up, speeding up. When I went to the bathroom, I was looking for him to start speeding up, speeding up. But let me show you how awesome God is. The day that I made up my mind. He was going to get drugged through that building. For real, for real. The guy wouldn't do nothing. When I came back from break, he stacked the pallets. When I went to the bathroom, he stacked the pallets. He wasn't doing this for three months. The day I made up in my mind, if he do anything, I wanted him to do one thing wrong. I wanted to drag him. I wanted him to do one thing wrong so I could drag him through that building. He didn't know what was coming to him that day. I tell you, God is awesome. That, that's the testimony right there. Proverbs 16 and 7. When a man's ways please the Lord, he'll make even his enemies to be at peace with him. And this testimony might not sound like much to people that don't go through things on the job, but to people that do, you can understand where I'm coming from. And I'm telling you to hold on. Things are going to change. God is going to change things. He's going to make even your enemies to be at peace with you. Because the one day, and I wasn't saying this for the whole three months, like he do anything today. I said this one day. I woke up one day and I had enough. He was going to get drugged that day, and he didn't even know it. But the Lord intervened, and he and, and that day, and that day forward, he never did nothing else. So I give God praise because God intervened, and He will on your job. Because a lot of things are going through on the job; they're going through in the workplace. It's warfare because the enemy know that's where he mostly going to find you at. And the enemy know that he can make it real uncomfortable for a saint on a job. But don't let nothing steal your peace. 
Don't let nothing rob you of your joy. God is going to intervene. Proverbs 16 and 7. When a man's ways please the Lord, he make even his enemies to be at peace with him.